Well, just last week, Brazil reported payroll growth for an eighth straight month, latest sign of an economic recovery in Latin America's largest economy. So how are companies positioning for this? Ultrapar's CEO, Pedro Wanchisowski, uh, is with us now. You see him there live on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange. He's one of Brazil's major fuel and petrol company uh, CEOs. He's with us now live from the floor. Good morning to you, Pedro. This is a celebration of your 10th anniversary of the IPO here in the U.S. Yes, good morning. We're very happy to be here in the New York Stock Exchange today. <laughs> good. Uh, well, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, looking at the, the fuel segment of the business that you are in, what are you seeing in terms of domestic demand uh, for petrochemicals, for fuel, and all the products that Ultraprar uh, brings to market? Um, the consumption of fuels in Brazil has grown around 8% this year compared with last year, basically uh, because the fleet, the Brazilian fleet, has grown that much. Actually, even sales cars uh, have grown more than 5% this year compared with last year. So economy is doing well and um, the variables of the economy that affects us is also doing very well. Uh, you had your company had acquired last spring Chevron's Texaco retail operations in the country. You know that name very well known to U.S. investors. Are there other acquisitions uh, on the horizon for you? Uh, the acquisition of uh, Chevron's Texaco Corporation in Brazil has done very well. It's going very well. We are integrating the Texaco network into our own network of the Ipiranga service stations. Uh, we're very, very happy with that and we're looking forward for additional, probably smaller acquisitions in the same area of business in the next year. What kind of international expansion are you eyeing? Uh, we are basically um, in the local market for most of our businesses. Uh, chemicals is the exception. We have made acquisitions in the chemical sector in, in Latin America and um, we are already the market leaders in specialty chemicals in, in, in South America and in Latin America, being present both in Mexico and in the Indian markets and in the, in the Mercosur area. Mm -hmm. uh, there, when people talk about Brazil and they talk about fuel, the question of ethanol and sugar-based ethanol always comes up. Uh, what happened to that conversation? We're hearing a lot less of it these days. Well, ethanol is uh, produced in Brazil in a very competitive way. Uh, ethanol is available for the Brazilian consumer in the fuel market. Uh, most of the, of the cars that have been sold in the recent past are flex fuel cars. Uh, and we are supplying both the consumers with gasoline, with mixtures and with alcohol, with ethanol itself. It can be also used as a raw material for the chemical sector and I think in the future We'll, have, we'll see several projects using ethanol as raw material for uh, chemical products. All right, thank you so much uh, for joining us. That's Ultrapar CEO in New York on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange. Stay